Hello and welcome to another episode of How You Can Do It Too. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to place your solar light um, with the solar char charging panel in another uh, location, uh, cheaper than these uh, higher dollar ones. Uh, this was $17, and what I found is I put it under my under my tree, facing up. You know, the first night it lit up just fine. And I was like, oh, it's cool, you know, shining up under the tree and everything. Well, what happened is the, the tree itself shades it out during the day. And what was happening, it was, you know, not coming on or only coming on for a little bit because it wasn't getting enough sun. So uh, I'm doing this all on the fly, just uh, an idea I have. Um, it may already be out there, I don't know. But uh, if it works, um, you'll know it worked because um, I'll be posting this. Um, if you're viewing it, it works. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, take this little screw out um, where the swivel is, and hopefully there's enough wire on there that I can clip. I don't know if you can see this, but pulling a little screw out. Let me get rid of this. I just left this on so I can show you that this was a new unit. Um, let me get rid of that, take it off. Um, and Yep, I don't know if you can see it, but pulled it apart and it's got a wire on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this wire right in half. And uh, my way of thinking is, is with me extending the wire, uh, I'm hoping it will still send enough uh, current through there to actually light the light up. Again, it might not work, but uh, that's what I'm going to try. And again, I'm doing this on the fly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this right dead in the center. I don't know if you can see. We should zoom in. Alright. And yeah, it's uh, pretty thin wires. I don't know if you can see it. Um, pretty thin. So I'm going to go ahead and separate these and get them all ready. And, uh, and I'll uh, be right back to show you how I fasten it together. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I just want to show you something. I don't know if you can see this. There, these are really tiny, tiny, thin wires. So I don't know if it's going to work or not, the speaker. But that's how I trimmed them down. And then I actually had to use my fingernail actually to strip these back when wire cutters wouldn't even fit them. I don't know if you can see it, but I got the insulation off of that one. Um, so uh, we'll go to the Next um, next step, I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, stripping these down to all, you know, the roll uh, wires. Just be very careful. Like I said, I use my fingernail. That's how uh, skinny they are. And if you tear yours up, uh, please don't blame me. This is what I'm doing. This is just for, uh, I just want to see if it works. So I'll be right back. But uh, here's the speaker wire, and I'm going to strip these wires back. And like I said, I'm going to run out about... Oh, probably 10, 10 feet. I think that should get it enough distance for me. Um, and another thing, because uh, you got a, on this particular one, you got a red wire and a white wire. What you're going to want to do is when you fasten one end to the red wire, follow that end down the speaker wire. Because, uh, well, no, uh, I'm trying to see if it's um, no. This one it's coated. If yours isn't. Um, marked in any way follow that wire when you hook it up to the red follow that wire all the way to the other end and make sure it's hooked on the red and then vice versa you know once you have that then you know the white on the white but this this speaker wire is actually uh, marked um, so I'll be able to find the other end and make sure that uh, they're connected up good so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay I'm back um, I ran about 10 foot it's probably a little better than 10 foot but I wanted to show you this. What I did is I wired them together and then I wrapped, when I had them together, I wrapped tape around the wire first because I didn't want to pull them apart. That wire is so um, uh, thin that I didn't want to pull it out. So I did that. So now I can kind of pull on it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insulate these wires separately get those good and insulated. Um, if I had some wire nuts, I'd use that. But there again, this is just a test run. If this works, I'll uh, definitely work on uh, wiring it better, probably soldering. And, uh, 
my uh, solar panel. I'm just going to fasten that somewhere away from the tree somehow and uh, let it be out in the sun and see what happens. And again, if, uh, if this is posted, it worked. And um, I would definitely work on a better you know, way to wire it. But there again, this is just a test. It gives you kind of the concept of what I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, uh, again, if this is posted, it worked.